Hi, on this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to back up your computer using crontab and rsync. It's really very simple and it's very nice because I don't usually use the graphical front ends of backups because for me, I don't have control and I want to see what really happens if I back up my files so I want to customize it and before we start first let us uh, take down some important notes first of all you need to figure out uh, what files you need to back up and the second one is where you're gonna put them to put them the third one is uh, give um, five reasons why you need to back up fourth one is how do you restore them and the fifth one is uh, choose your backup strategy for me this works and I don't know if will this will work for you okay so before we start I'm gonna show you something what's my physical setup F my physical setup is like this okay um, it might be di different for you it also might be different for um, the rest but this is at the start first of all I have um, a hard disk okay and this is my first hard disk and I have another hard disk and a third hard disk okay so f my m when I'm gonna answer this question what files you need usually when I install Ubuntu I put the files here and I ha whoa what's that okay um, that was a very big font let's just uh, f um, choose something that's very uh, uh, small 11 I think is good okay I put my boot here and what else I put my root okay the root yeah and I put the swap here so all in all this whole thing um, sometimes it's it's only 80 gigs and this one I put my home folder as you can see it's a separate partition it's a separate physical hard disk and this I put my backups okay it's up to you what size you want and but um, most importantly is if you want to back up you need to um, you need to uh, know the and answer these questions what files you need obviously I need the boot uh, the boot it's up to you if you want a separate boot partition but I did mine anyway and I wanna back up the swap and I wanna back up the root okay so because there are a lot of times that happened to me when the boot was corrupted and the whole computer did not start that's very very hard so what you need to do is back up these things and put them in a separate hard disk that's what I did and it's up to you if you have money if you have the time the space you can still add a fourth hard disk here although my casing won't allow me I just have a small casing and this by the way this tutorial is only for a small home office environment okay 
so where do you put them as I told you I regular I what I want is I I put my my these things in my home to this full to this uh, hard disk okay this I I believe my home is one terabyte okay this is one terabyte okay and also one terabyte here and this one I think I have 250 gigabytes yeah okay as you can see it's not even enough if this becomes full and this becomes full it won't be enough here but for purposes it's up to you to really um, figure out what's good for you I'm just giving you a draft here so you can have a idea of what's uh, good for you now give five reasons why just like I told you the first reason I have is my sometimes my boot won't start and also the, the root gets corrupted and if this gets corrupted uh, there will be a lot of Etsy files there that's very very important maybe the squid server is there and you've configured it uh, and now it's gone now if I reason what that's one of the reasons and what also what if this fails okay or what if this fails so that's those are the reasons now how do you restore that's a good question we restore them as long as you have them in a separate hard disk you can easily restore them using tar rsync or just cap copy the files back to uh, the hard disks by the way if this things if your hard disks gets corrupted right you can just buy a new one right oh that's cool <laughs> I didn't notice that you can just buy a new hard disk okay a new hard disk and just restore them and you'll be back to have your files will be back in no time okay you just put them back so that's the tutorial what the tutorial is gonna be about now we're gonna this additional additional hard disks okay that's why I put a question mark there it's up to you okay so that's what the tutorial is gonna be about uh, I hope you will learn a lot from this thank you for watching